So this is side one, two, and three, I think. Yeah, one, two, and three for Mr. Clifford. Ingrid says, yes, I heard, dear. I'm not deaf, you know. Albert, let us go and see what is taking the driver so long with our other suitcases. What is it, Basil? Mr. Clifford, Mr. Clifford. What? What? Spit it out, man. Spit it out? It's just an expression, Basil. Tell me, what's the matter? The Fairfaxes, they're here. They are? Where? They got other suitcases. Those are something suitcases something. <laughs> really? All right. <sighs> Just calm down. I will take these cases up to their room and then you can help them with the other ones. Okay. And then Basil says, Please to sign here, Mrs. Fairfax. And then Ingrid says, I'm not Mrs. Fairfax. I'm Mrs. Brightham. We're Albert and Ingrid Brightham from Fairfax. Basil! Ah, Mr. and Mrs. Brightham. Yes, you reserved a room several weeks ago, if I remember correctly. Allow me to show you to your room. We have one at the back next to the kitchen with a lovely view of the swamp. Thank you, sir, Basil. Here, Basil tells us it's the very best room you have. Yeah. Yes, of course it is. Please, follow me. Okay, side two. Yeah. This side two is still Mr. Clifford. Okay. Oh, Stanley, you even quote Shakespeare. Mr. Larson, was that Miss White I saw you just now? I hope not. I sent her to get some fresh flowers from the Fairfax room half an hour ago, and she still hasn't taken care of it. Henry, you really shouldn't worry so much. You'll have a seizure. By the way, has the English Tea Garden tour left yet? I was very much hoping to join them today. That tour guide, Kathy, is very lovely. I mean, she seems to be very knowledgeable about flowers. Sorry, old trap, you just missed them. I kicked them out of here, or rather I suggested that they leave a little early today since we were expecting them, since we were expecting some very special guests. Yeah, that's side, side three. With Mr. Clifford. Edward, please don't mind Blanche. She gets tired when she travels. She'll feel better after a little rest. Yes, yes, of course, I understand. Please follow me and I'll show you to your room. It's the best we have to offer. Edward says, you're quite right, Henry. May I call you Henry? It is a very quaint location. And thank you again for allowing us to use the hotel safe for some of our more valuable items. Oh, wait. And then Audrey says, Eddie, Eddie Fairfax, I don't believe it's you. Eddie? That's, That's it. 